So you come in the entrance and there's a large pantry here to the side. Uh, we have some hooks up there. We put our sweatshirts, all kind of storage here, groceries, appliances, whatever you want. This is not storage down there. That's to something else. It's a good size. Shoes, a good spot for shoes when you come in as well. Uh, we put some hooks up here to the side. That's where we hang our keys. So from the door, you walk in. On the left, you have the bathroom. And it is a good size bathroom. It's not one of those ones where you hit your knees when you're sitting on the potty. We've got a nice shower, good size. Skylight. It's pretty decent. Easy clean. We store buckets in there when we're not moving. Uh, some storage here. Some more storage down here. It is the the four flush kind of toilet. There's a window there with the cover. Vent fan you can open. There is also an air conditioner, uh, whatever that thing is that blows out the air conditioner. Mirror. Like in the house, it's got storage behind it. Sink. Lots of cabinet space. Electrical outlet. More storage underneath the sink. Plenty of storage, actually. And then next to it, even more storage. So you have a place where you can hang out clothes. We easily put a hamper there for our dirty clothes when we go out. And then more storage below as well. Towels, clothes, whatever you need to put in there. There's also a heat vent on the floor in the bathroom. So I'm kind of stepping out of the bathroom, the door hooks so you can close it. So if you wanted, you know, if you got somebody in here other than you or if you're in there, um, couch, got two windows, window back there, large picture window there. Um, the couch does jackhammer up to a, a bed. It's not super duper comfortable, but it gets the job done. There's more storage underneath. Loads down there. And we've got these storage bins that come with it. Good place to store extra linens or whatever. Um, also down here, we actually have an outdoor TV, a TV that we use for the outside mount. This is a table. It's a big uh, rectangular table. It hooks right there so that if you want a table, you can have a table there, put it up or down. Um, so I'm back by the entrance just so you can associate where we are. We've got the TV, all those wires. We have a little antenna so we can pick up um, just regular channels right now. It does have the fireplace. Um, we've gone out in the winter and the fireplace is enough to keep it warm probably in the 40s high 30s um, that's where the controls are for the lights and the slide outs the water heater water pump all that there's also so you can hook up and this is nice storage here as well so this is a smart tv we've got on here got the microwave the stove this folds up got three burners so that kind of creates your thing in the back to keep you safe while you're cooking uh, oven uh, honestly I don't think I've ever used the oven we always just grill when we're out sink two containers or two sides to the sink this detaches comes off sprays uh, you see I got a spot up there if I go downwards Underneath the sink, we have more storage. Uh, and then over here to the other side, we've got our drawers. That's where the silverware and all that stays. If I go up here, we've got more storage all in here. You can see where we pulled it and we parked it this last time. Big enough for cups, mugs. That's the bag that has all the paperwork and the um, remotes to everything in it. Up here, plenty of storage for pots, bowls, pans, all of that kind of stuff. 
Uh, the microwave does have a, a vent as well, so if you're cooking, you got in here. The thermostat says it's 91 in here. I don't have the air on or anything. Two outlets. It's pretty decent counter space. Holds, um, you know, a coffee pot or Keurig or whatever. We usually put a crock pot and stuff up there. So the refrigerator, it's actually very large for a camper. Um, it was one of our requirements for us. Uh, pretty decent size. Same thing, freezer, pretty good size. So to continue to orient, so there's the whole little live-in kitchen area. And this is with the slide out out. Um, so if I go back into the bedroom area and there is a door here, I've got it uh, pulled back and latched right now. Um, it's queen size bed. There's storage here beside each. You see big enough to hang stuff. And one of the things we liked about this one, it has storage up top too. So you have loads of storage there. Um, there are windows on both sides. So in a nice spring or fall night, you can open up and get a cross breeze. Oh, I guess I could turn the light on. That might be helpful, huh? Uh, you can access the inside there. One of the other cool features, as you'll see on the side over there, is USBs. So we got USB plugs on both sides. So you can plug in your, uh, your phone or whatever. There is a spot for a TV up there, but we've never put one up there. Um, underneath, down here... This is also um, came with it and stays with it. More storage. We usually just put clothes, socks, sleep clothes, whatever under there. And then there's a little bit of room underneath where you can slide shoes for storage as well. And there's a vent in here for the heat and for the air. You can access underneath through here. Uh, we didn't notice any issues with any leakage or anything. But if you um, need to access your uh, under under cabin storage you can there as well so and again this door closes i just have it hooked back so that it's not in the way so it's pretty decent um nice little backsplash it's not real tile it's whatever these campers come with 